Well, it looks like you've hit a snag. So welcome back to Die Down Till Smash Bros. Exu. In the last episode, we defeated the Great Maze. In this episode, we are going to complete the game. So, let's begin this stuff up. Now right here, it doesn't really matter who you choose, so I'm just gonna go with the random people like, Oh, they look cool, I might as well pick them. So, let's go ahead and start the Great Maze. It's been a while since I've been by myself. I feel awkward now. I'm so alone. Okay, not really. I really don't care. I do like having go commentators, though, because throughout the Great Maze, that would have been very boring, just watching me do the same crap over and over again. Seeing as we've seen it already, but whatever. Anyways, in order to fight the final boss, all we have to do is go through the door of um, where he rests, and hopefully I don't get any damage besides that 1% that I couldn't exactly help. Really, Hammer Bro? You had to land perfectly on there, didn't you? Ah. See if I can avoid getting any damage along the way there. Nope. <laughs> Denied. No, seriously. You want some? Denied. You got some. Anyway, let's go through. All right. You ready? That's it. The door back there finally opens. The f the wrong. I'm kidding. <laughs> so. I love how Sonic did what we couldn't in like eight episodes. That that just astounds me. So yes, we actually have a new character to use, and his name, Sonic. Second third party character actually available in this game. The only two though. So um seeing as we're actually about to fight the final boss right here, I'm gonna go with Sonic right now. Okay, so Sonic is a character that starred in some good games, but more recently some bad games. And, you know, he's actually an okay guy. Personally, I find that he has a more of a running away type of fighting style and just hitting every now and then. So, if you like a fighter that really surprises you when he attacks, then that's your guy. Because he has a spiky hair and he looks like he could really hurt you. <laughs> and that's my full analysis. So... Let's go ahead and take on the final boss, only known as Taboo, the maker of the subspace onslaught, the emissary, the causer of pain, destruction in my life, and I don't like. Okay, you ready, guys? This is it. This is a fight against Taboo. Oh, you're over here now, huh? Yeah, I'm not gonna be able. To... Think about intense mode. He's actually able to kill you with one-hit KO moves instantly, so you want to be careful of avoiding all these attacks, because he can kill you if some of them hit. Uh, I hate that move, I hate that move. If you get too close to him, he can actually... Oh, here we go. You want to sidestep, dodge this, or roll that attack, otherwise you will instantly die. I'm not kidding. That's the attack that basically turned you into trophies to begin with, so yeah, you don't want to get hit by it. Oh no, I died! Oh no, I only have like six more characters I can use. This is, by the way, why I said it doesn't really matter who you use in this part, because obviously you get to choose right as soon as you enter the boss room. So! Oh god, pinwheel pet! Pinwheels! Damn you, childlike memories! Ugh. Goddamn childhood. Scarred me from pinwheels. Middle gear. Okay. Whoa, big hand, huh? I'm an egghead. <laughs> I love how you can just tack his freaking head right there. It's so random. By the way, I gotta say, this boss music is just epic. I mean, you just gotta take it in. It just brings that... It kind of brings in, like, a Castlevania theme with that organ at the end. But, um... Most of the time, it's got, like, guitars in it and everything. It sounds awesome. One of my favorite songs to this game, gotta say. Oh, God! And right here, he has a weird-ass flat-looking camera. A cannon. Hang on, let me get a shot of that for you. 
It's flat. Yeah, I know. It's flat. By the way, I realize you can't get this camera angle in regular ball. I have it hacked. Just saying. I'm just a saying. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm like, oh, here we go. Death. <laughs> oh, well. Cario, finish him off. Don't get hit, by the way. You can't get hit. Because it's actually pretty... Whoa! Jesus, Pete. Um, come on, Taboo. I really gotta finish you off, man. Bald men don't belong in the world of my world. This world will be mine. Wow, you actually intensified the hot hit. That way it caused more damage. That was brilliant battle strategy, Taboo. I must salute you for that. Hut ho! Whew. Hate, hate pinwheels. Hate pinwheels. Uh, just keep doing this the entire time. Whoa, he actually kind of sucked me in. Uh, that was that was an awkward way to say it, but okay. Uh, His attacks are like really random. Like some of them, he barely gives you any warning at all. Like this one, for instance, you can't really do much about it. So yeah, kind of awkward to fight that one. Don't really, not a really big fan of that one, I must say. Oh, uh, throw this at him! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Trying to blow up your own stage there, my man. Whoa! That attack I hate so much, because you never know when he's going to do it, and he just does it randomly, and it kills you. And then it makes me a very sad panda. <laughs> A.K.A. I die. Samus, you're the world's last hope. Don't screw it up, you bimbo. <laughs> I'm kidding. You're not a bimbo. You're actually a very mature lady, and I appreciate you. But not another end, because you sucked in that one. <sighs> Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'll wait. I'll wait. Jesus Christ. We should portray your attack patterns a little better. You know, instead of, like, randomly doing it. When I can't exactly hit you. Derp derp. Oh, good. This one I can actually hit you in. Come on, I gotta finish you. You're not... You, know, you have a lot of HP, sir, I must say. Jesus Christ. You're taking forever, girl. Oh, uh, come on. Oh! Ooh. Wait, hit him. Uh. Oh, come on. Whoa, 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 run. Um, hit that soccer ball and hit yourself in the face. That'd be actually pretty funny. Uh, uh. Man, that, that, like, transportation attack it looks like something came from DBZ. And it freaks me out every time I see it, I swear to God. Uh. Right in the face, holy crap. Uh. And I did it! I defeated Taboo with, like, five friggin' hits. I am ashamed of, to call myself a brother of Smash.
Taboo was the embodiment of subspace, a place that he could not leave. He wanted to cut our world the main characters live in into pieces and drag it into his world. That's why he prepared an army and a leader for the offensive into the other world. Taboo studied the Master Hand and ruler of the Land of Trophies, and this knowledge led him to use Master Hand for his plans. The Chains of Light bend Master Hand to the will of Taboo, who uses Master Hand to enlist the likes of Ganondorf, Bowser, and Wario. Taboo used the advanced technology developed on the Isle of Ancients, an island of robots ruled by the Master Robot, also known as the Ancient Minister. The Master Robot wanted to avoid losing his brethren to Taboo, so he reluctantly agreed to being the main front of the subspace offensive. The Master Robot decided to disguise himself as the Ancient Minister, out of shame for his own decision to work with the subspace army. Taboo had taken advantage of the peculiar qualities of Mr. Game & Watch's body mass, which he used to create a nearly infinite number of shadow bugs, which he also used to create the subspace army. Using the subspace army, he launched a violent attack on Meta Knight and took his ship for his own. During the attack, King Day to Day engaged Meta Knight, unknowingly making it impossible for Meta Knight to repel the subspace army's attack. The taking of the battleship Halberd, as well as scuffle between King Day to Day and Meta Knight, were not shown in the game because those scenes unfortunately had to be cut. The circular shockwaves emitted by Taboo spread his wings are called off waves. This technique was capable of immediately transforming fighters at distant locations into trophies. Later on, Ganatorf took control of the robots and forced them to blow up the Isle of the Ancients. All of this so he could tear a hole in the subspace large enough to fit a subspace gunship through. Once the mass production of subspace gunships yielded a certain number of units, it would then be possible to launch all of them to the hole at once. Once the gunships went in our world, it would drag all the remaining pieces of our world into theirs. The gunship was meant to be Taboo's trump card, but the Valiant attack by our heroes neutralizes the threat. In the ending, or a new beginning of the game, the spark marked by the shining X where the Isle of the Ancients was. When Taboo and the Great Maze were destroyed, most parts of the world returned to normal. With the effects of so many subspace bombs going off at once, it made it impossible for the Isle of the Ancients to return to normal. You know, just because I saved the world doesn't mean we're done, seriously. Stay tuned for more Dianto Smash Bros. X2. See you next time for bonus episode. Later.